Hi everyone, Electro here. Just an update on the cell. Uh, I've started the plumbing on the top. Uh, what I've done here is incorporate a pressure release valve. It's off a compressor. And what I've done with that is I've unscrewed the top. And I'll just focus for you guys. And um, cut the spring because it, it's, uh, I think it's a 110 PSI valve. As you can see, it's holding air at the moment. So I'll just release that. It's been holding about 50 psi all day, just to check that it's airtight, and obviously it is, but um, getting back to this, I've cut the spring, and what I'm going to do, because I can adjust the tightness of the top, there I can vary the, the spring pressure on that, so I can uh, vary the pressure relief. Now, when I get a pressure gauge there, I'm going to set this to about... 15 psi, 20 psi, whatever. But whatever I want to do, I can just adjust it there. But I'll need a uh, a pressure gauge to do that. Stan had one of these on his. It was off the side up there, but I, I've put mine here for for the time being. But um, uh, getting back to this, I've started the wiring up. There, um, all the wires on the bottom. The thick wire in the middle for the negative. And each one to its own switch, which here now um, I found some old school switches laying around, so I've got six of those. I'm just trying to track down three more so I can have my cells individually wired. But for the time being, I can just wire them up um, just with the wires, I don't have to have the switches there, just part of an ongoing project sort of thing. Um, there's my motor with the alternator. Now, I've got a variac here which I'm going to um, try to convert this to DC with a rectifier so I can run the motor because it's 180 volt DC. At the moment I've only got 70 volts so I'm, only, I'm getting less than half the speed of the motor. I think I need a bit more speed to just have the flexibility to test what I want. I can't get it with my present power supply so I'm going to try that. It should be good enough to run the motor because, as we said before, this is 180 volt DC. Um, there's another alternator there, which I've got with a another um, stator wound. There's one in there at the moment. I've also got a bunch of PCBs which I've been mucking around with. These two are, are really good, actually, but. Um, they're copies of, or refinements of these two here. Now this particular one is the one with the three um, studs on it. Now, using this one, and the motor is, it is at present with uh, that particular winding, I've been able to get that, which is the inductive coupling. Uh, sorry I can't show you this at the moment, but I'm just not set up for, for I'm just trying to get all this together before I, I move ahead with it. But um, I've been expert, but like I said, I need more range in revs for this to fully experiment with what I want. Uh, this one here is looking good as well. Basically, this is a different version of that, um, and it allows me to, to bridge, or not bridge, but to connect the Winding is a bit more freely than I can with this. This only has three connections to it. It's like the one in his um, in his pictures that's in the alternator itself. But uh, more to do with that now. Before I go any further with this, what I'm after is uh, a flash arrestor because I don't want to really have this thing under pressure with no protection more or less so um, after a, um, a bubbler with a flash protector on it and a separate flash protector as well um, I've looked at Delvis 11's website and I've made some contact with him well I'm just waiting for his email back just on shipping prices and all that sort of stuff his bubbler um, and flash arresters are pretty good from what I can understand so I'll have to get back to you on that one but um, so far, so good. This is what I'm up to. Thanks, guys. Bye.